Hello everyone, I'm Xu Wei. Now in China is at night, uh, so it's quite. I have time to make a new video to you. These days we have made some videos about a smart power distribution box, but some people have leave message to us. They need the diagram of the power distribution box. These days, uh, a kindly man. Now is my friend. He helped me make the diagram of the distribution box. It's very beautiful. I'm very thanks to him. Today, I will show you the diagram he has drawn. It's, it's very beautiful. We will look at this how distribution box works. If you want to see our DIY project of the distribution box, you can see our YouTube channel. Sorry, my English is not very well. My English is poor. So I just can only speak slowly. I'm a technique. So you can see uh, many videos on this playlist, a uh, smart home DIY project, such as this and others. Uh, today we will see the diagram based on these videos. These videos have one face and a three face together distribution box. So now we will look at the diagram. This diagram based on the 32 channel relay box. The whole diagram is so beautiful. And uh, I will tell you how to make this distribution box. Not only need the King Kong's relay box, also you can use other Ethernet relay module to make and DIY a uh, power distribution box by yourself. You can see this is the main, main controller. And uh, from this The power is in. And this is three phase. This is a power meet. You can install or not install, just according to you. The L1, L2, L3, and the natural line input and the output. And this, this MCB, this is the brick, total brick, incoming brick. And the far block. Then the power to this three line. And this is AC contact. And this have a 12 voltage power supply for controller and other device. So the relay board also power also power supply for 12 voltage. And this is the menu country board for menu country. And this is voice country. This is Google. This is Alexa. If you want to use two modules and the switchboard also use the S232 port. So one, two, three. You can use this adapt. One, two, three, server split adapt. So you can use three server port device at the same time. And this board manually menu control by switch panel or by remote. This is also 12 voltage power supply. And this is another power supply of 12 voltage. Uh, we suggest use another power supply, independent power supply. It will be good for the long distance. If you not use for long distance and not the environmental is bad, so, uh, you can also uh, in, input the power supply, connect with this, this power supply at the same time. But if you want to for long distance, Sometimes 
we will avoid the interfacing signal in the power line. So we suggest to use the independent power supply for this 12 voltage. And this is switch panel interface. You can connect with 32 and another on and off total 34 switch panel. This is for 32 buttons and this is two buttons. All these buttons use dry note, dry note type. So it's very easy to use. Just every button have one line to this input. And it have a common line. Keyboard com, keyboard com with this. And this also have a key count and ground. This key count ground and this key ground ground is the same. Just need, just connect any other one is okay. And this have a two remote. Every remote, every remote have 16 channel. So total have 32 channel to remote country. Uh, this is country by remote, country by switch panel, and the country by Alexa, and the country by Google Home. Uh, this is a different country way. Now we will look at how country the country is a brick and the country the AC contact. We can see if you use three phase, three phase, so you can choose AC contact by three phase. I have a I have an example. This is three phase. So you can see total have four four lines L1, L2, L3, and natural. So this is three phase. And we can see this this is single phase. Single phase just choose the single phase AC contact. This is three phase. So it's different for you to use. When you use three phase or use single phase, how to country the AC contact turn on and turn off? Just use relay controller output a signal for 220 voltage to the AC conduct, then the AC conduct will be closed. When AC conduct closed, so the power will follow to the brick. And this is brick. This brick also have two kinds, and this is three phase brick, and this is single phase brick. And output the brick, you can connect with your load, electronic load. So, uh, at last, this is the earth, the earth line. This power supply, 12 voltage, is for controller. And this is another power supply, 12 voltage. This is for the switch terminal board for the independent power supply. So I think you can understand how this diagram works. And also I will upload this diagram on our website. You can download, uh, you can see clearly and see slowly. And there is another diagram just this position is different. This all is the same. You can see
you can see the switch panel uh, every switch panel is a 4k so you can not only use one panel with 32 buttons but also you can instead of any buttons switch panel just according your need demand and now we see the last one the last one have a keyboard this is a menu country board just 32 buttons on one PCB board so if you want to install the board inside of your distribution box you can use this one and in our video we also install this one uh, because this is large this is better installed on the wall outside the power distribution box and this is good for install inside and these photos all show you how to connect with the device and use the relief board to make the smart power distribution box now we will see some examples this is some photos from our customer uh, they sent to me I can show you we can see this is farmer and this is the 32 country connect with the relay in this pic picture he not use AC contact use the relay for large power directly and this is the box is working in farm is for agriculture and this is for electronic uh, office project uh, this valley channels power country and also use 32 channels we also have a video for this project This video take by mobile phone so the size is small. video is for our customer project and this is also you can see how to install on the DIN rail this customer also have make a make a fixed on the bottom by themselves
you can see this video is recorded by him. You can install the release module by this way. This is a DIY way. This is very stable. Also, this is a uh, 32 channel for the power distribution box. It's very large. And this is 8 channel. And this is another. And this is 18, 18 channel. And also you see the many channels. This is the way we make the video, the progress. We take the video, how to DIY. But you can find our box. According to your channel number, the box can be very small and can be very large. And this is another country way. You can see this is 32 channel and this is switch terminal board. And in this operation, he not use the AC contact. This is a solid state relay. What's between the solid state relay and the AC contact? Uh, this is country the on off by the electronic parts. And this is physical. This physical, so it when it comes, will have sound. But when this solid state will really country on and off, they are will they are without sound. But this uh, suit for low power, and this AC contact is physical for the large power. Also, this surface will be have have sound. And also, this single face will have some. Now, all these photos I, I think can help you to DIY the smart power distribution box. So, if you have any questions, you can leave a message to us. We will help you, and we will, according to your questions, we can make new video uh, upload to the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.